welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for passing by and for clicking on this video. My name is Tiffany. It is so nice to meet you and I am so happy and excited that you're here today. So very often on my Instagram, I get asked Tiff, how do you edit your Instagram photos? What applications do you use? What is it exactly that you do? And which by the way, this is what my Instagram looks like at the moment, some of the photos that I've taken. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all all those tips and tricks on how to edit your Instagram photos, the applications that I use, not even like tricks, I would say, just a very simple way on how to edit your photos. There's not any presets involved, not multiple applications. There's just two applications that I'm gonna be sharing with you all and one filter. Now, I do wanna add that I believe there is no right or wrong way as to how to edit your Instagram photo. I believe that everyone has their own style, everyone has their own preference, and everyone has their own vision as to how they would like their photo to look and, you know, to be edited. There are some people that like their photos and their feed to maybe be a little bit more darker, and there's others that maybe like for it to be a bit more colorful, and that's me. But again, everyone has a different style, and maybe what I like might be different from what you like, and that's completely okay. It all comes down to the vision that you have for your photos. So I do hope that you find this video informative and that maybe you're able to apply some of the techniques that I'll share with you in your photos. And if you do, feel free to tag me in it so that way I can repost it on my Instagram stories. Okay, so I'll be screen recording on my phone. So the first app that we're gonna use, it's Afterlight. And I already have our first photo uploaded onto the application. Now, just a little side note, when I go on photo shoots, typically I'll take multiple photos and then I'll favorite the ones that I like most and those are the ones that I upload on the app so that way I can start working around with it. So you're gonna press use and then you're gonna press on the little triangle right here. So the filter that I like to use most, it's called Lumen, which is the third one right here. So we're gonna click on it, but we're not gonna leave it there. We're gonna start to play around with the color fill, with the channel mixer and see where that takes us. So let's just speed this up a little bit. Okay, so I like this, so let's save it. We're gonna check mark it and then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna click on Vibrance. Just so that way we can pop out the colors a bit more. Okay, so this was the before and then this was the after. We basically, we just used the filter and we did a bit of touch of color. So again, it's all about playing around with the different colors and seeing what you like most and what you find more pleasing to your photo. Okay, so for photo number two, we are gonna go into the Lightroom app. Now I already have our photo uploaded onto here. So this photo was taken in Puerto Rico and I already had a vision and a thought of how I wanted it to be taken and edited. So now my goal with this photo is to pop out the color of the pool, the floaty, and my bathing suit. So now what we can do on this app, there's a lot that you can do. Now there's no presets. Um, if you're not too sure with what a preset is, it's basically like, a filter already. It already has all the settings of your saturation, your contrast, your brightenings, your curves, but we're not going to do that here. We're just going to play around a bit with the colors and see what happens. Okay, so this is the before and then this is the after. So literally all what I did was just pull out the exposure a bit more, the shadows, the whites, the blacks, and the detail of the photo along with the color, the vibrance and the saturation. So again, there's no specific number that I always use like 23 or 15. No, it just, I kind of just like scroll through it with my thumb and I see which one I think looks best. So this was the final look for photo number. 
And that is all what I have for you guys today. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching this video. I hope it was informative and helpful and that if you do happen to apply any of these techniques for your photo, feel free to tag me in it so that way I can repost it on my Instagram stories. And also, I'm not sure if I added this, but both of the applications, they are for free. I think though that Afterlight, I don't remember, I think there was like a little, like there was like in-app fees and I know that you can also uh, purchase presets on Lightroom. But again, everything that I showed you guys today, it's for free. You don't need to pay for any presets or packages or whatever the case may be. It's one filter. Uh, lumen and then again like I mentioned everyone has their own style and their own preference it all comes down to your vision that you have for your photo so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that way you can stay updated when I post again I'm like doing the dance here <laughs> thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you next time bye